Okay, Jean Burnett from JeanBurnett.com. I thought I'd just do a little video today on spinning. And you notice I've got my socks on because I want to be able to spin a little bit. Um, in uh, typical Tai Chi forms, uh, there's often a spin here and there. Bagua forms have spins. Um, there's spins in dancing, there's spins in different uh, arts. Tai Chi, particularly being a martial art, your spins are less dancey and more perhaps functional. <laughs> Certainly they're a good balance training and a good balance uh, challenge. What I've noticed about spinning is that um, a lot of people when they are beginners and they're thinking about spinning, they think about turning their upper body into the spin. And there's a thing in ballet when you spin, you will kind of lift your chest and suspend your weight and you'll spin like that. Um, this is a little bit different because we're not presenting our body as an artistic instrument we're we're you know we're in a martial at least context and so for me what's really helped me when i think about spinning is think about stepping to a place that you can't get to without spinning or without turning rapidly so it's a step to a place that you can't get to unless you spin so it's a step the intent is down here so i want to spin that way instead of thinking spin I'm thinking step in a way that I have to spin, right? I have to spin. Otherwise, I'm stuck there. So if I commit my weight to that foot, I can spin. So it just makes things smoother and easier. So uh, here's a typical spin from a Tai Chi move. I'm going forward here like this. I'm stepping out with my left foot. Now I'm going to put my right foot right where it is now. I'm going to put it right back where it is now. I'm going to circle around. I'm going to step to that place, and then my body's going to spin and catch up. It's not as easy to do on this floor in this small space as I thought it would be. But the basic idea is, I'm going to forget the hands for a second. I'm turning that foot out. Now I'm stepping all the way around, and I have to spin. And I'm, I'm not going up. I'm, I'm sort of I'm staying close to the ground, actually. So another one would be like if I'm here and I want to spin to the same place again or I'm actually I want to spin to this place so I'm going from that corner to this corner so I could just do that boom boom or if I want to put a spin in the middle there I'm going to step out with this foot and I'm going to step that foot in a circle I'm hooking my toe inwards all the way around to where it was and then it does that does that make sense can you see that so from here, I'm going to do it a little faster. I step and spin, right? So if I'm going to go the other way, I'm, I'm thinking about hooking my foot in the direction that it's pointing now. So it's pointing that way, so I'm hooking it around. So it hooks around and lands right where it was, except I got the spin going. So I can go here, spin around there, or I can go here and spin around here. A, a more uh, balletic spin would be to shift forward here, turn out, and up here, like that. But that's not what we're trying to do. We're not trying to pry ourselves off the ground. We're actually trying to stay close to the ground. So it's more, you know, you're more close to, you know, close to the action and close to your power. We're not presenting something up there, right? So the next time you get to one of your spins, just think for a second, where is my foot going to end up at the end of the spin? Like in this case, it's going to end up exactly where it is now. So I'm going to just circle my foot around like I'm drawing a compass form. And that forces me to do the spin. There's a thing in our Bagua where you do a, an L step and then a V step. And you see I spun because I stepped to a place that I had to, my body had to catch up with it. I, I committed myself. So. Um, another, uh, let's see, another, another angle would be, like, say, if it's here. Now the next step forces me to spin, right? So I'm stepping to a place that I can't get to without spinning. <laughs> so if you think of it as a step, and just the intent of that will condense and connect you more to your center than feeling like if it's a that it's a top. You know, spinning upwards. It, it's not, uh, not, in our, not in our system anyway, and I don't think in most Tai Chi systems, unless, unless you're doing um, a form of 
like formy competition tai chi where you're judged almost exclusively on the aesthetics of it. So then, you know, maybe you might, you know, do this kind of a thing, but, you know, that's pretty easy to push over. Imagine yourself doing this. If somebody pushed you at any time, they should at least hit something relatively solid, not, boom, you know, knocking something off balance. So that's my recommendation, my little tip about spinning. Thanks for watching. Let me know if this has been helpful. If you can, I always appreciate those kind of comments because that's why I make these videos. I've got donation jars all over my web world, my website, and my descriptions on YouTube, and a tip is always great and makes my day, but the thing that really makes my day even more is just when someone tells me what I've done is helpful, because believe it or not, that's why I'm making these videos. I got no ads on these things. I don't make, uh, you know, very much money from this. I just, I like being helpful. I actually like being helpful. So, um, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, be well, and good luck with your training.